Hey everyone, <laughs> welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we have a little mukbang. We have the boiling crab. We're also gonna be doing a Q&A and I told you guys to ask us some questions and you did. So that's what I did today and you guys did ask us some questions. So thank you to everyone who asked. I really appreciate you. So we're gonna start eating now. So we both get almost the same thing. We get a half pound of shrimp, a pound of mussels. I get one corn, he gets two corn. I get one order of potato, he gets two orders of potatoes and I get one order of sausage. And then we get the whole shebang, mild. And then we also get some fries to share. Ooh, I'm excited, look at that sausage. Mm -hmm. And then a muscle. Are you ready? Mm. I also brought these containers so we can put our mess in there. All right, so we're gonna start getting into the questions. And I know I'm not really looking at my phone right now, but I remember some of them. Obviously, the first question was, how did we meet? Who's gonna answer that question? Okay, I guess I will. So. <clears throat> okay, you go ahead, because I forgot. No, I'm just kidding. Junior and I met through a mutual friend. This mutual friend, I was speaking to them on the phone, and Junior decided to come, and he was like, oh, I wanna speak to whoever you're talking to. And so he did and then he started following me on instagram mm -hmm. and then he dm'd me like the same day do you remember what you said um you know like like i mean a snapchat i think no so he was like what's your snap mm -hmm. and i sent it to him and i guess he had added me but i don't know i guess i took a long time to add him back or something so he texted me back and he was like, add me back. We didn't talk after that. Like we didn't even text on Snapchat. We just like added each other and that was it. And then one day, uh, I was a freshman and our school started like late because of the senior breakfast or something like that. And tell me why, like we were already running late and we were walking to the bus stop and the bus stop was close to Junior's house. And my cousin was like, oh, because I saw him and I was like, oh, hi, you know, like I just said hi and that was it. And my cousin was like, oh, ask him for a ride so he can drop us off school because it's only like a five minute drive. So I was like, oh, yeah, true. And I asked Junior and Junior thought that it was just for me. So he said, yeah, but then he was like kind of like shocked because like I brought like four different people. Yeah, home. I know. I was like. Because my car was only a two door. And then you sat down and he told me how to put the seat back. Mm -hmm. He stood back up, he asked me. And, and he then took out of nowhere, it's just like three people came in the back of my car. I was like, I thought it was only for you. But he didn't say that at the moment. Like he told me this after. He was like, oh yeah, like it was just funny because he was like, oh. But at the moment, he didn't say nothing. And then he dropped us off. And when I got home, for some reason, I like texted him and I was like, I was just really thankful like I was like oh like thank you like I really appreciate you taking us um, to school and he was like oh yeah and then I think from there we started talking my cousin took a picture of us the day that he gave us a ride to school so I answered that right now as proof that's how it all went down mm -hmm. and now we're here <laughs> now you're a youtuber the next question was what was y'all's or like what was your impression about each other I don't know well, I got like a really, like a, like a really nice and caring person from you, like a vibe. Can I be honest? Mm -hmm. I low-key thought he was an F boy. Like literally, I don't know what it, like there's just these certain boys that you can look at and you're like, oh yeah, he's an F boy. And he looked like one. No, I didn't. So I just thought like, oh yeah, for sure. He is an F-boy. And I thought he was just trying to be nice or, you know, trying to get at me just because, like, you know, he's an F-boy. Um, that was actually my first impression of you. Like, that ass. Like, like, I always tell him that. Like, that's my first impression of him. Well, that's not a really good first impression. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then he turned out to be quite the opposite. Very opposite. How many years you guys dating? Almost six years. Mm-hmm. So we 
have been together for five years and what is it june what month is it is it june right now july august september october november so we've been together for five years and six months when did you ask me out 11 25. what year oh shit um <gasps> it was 2016. he asked me out at the beach mm -hmm. at stinson right stinson yeah i honestly feel like it was like the perfect spot it's just you weren't trying to ask it we were walking together down the beach he had his hand around my arm um, around my neck and then he was like so i wanted to ask you something and i'm like oh my god and keep in mind we had been talking for like a month now and i low-key thought like you know he was gonna ask me out like he was like so scared to ask i think he kept asking me other questions really i think so i don't know i feel like i remember you saying something else and i was like bro what were you gonna ask me again or like you kept changing the, the topic no i remember like me asking you that i need to ask you something but like i never did it though I, like waited how long mm -hmm. Mm. The next question is, what's your favorite thing to do together? Let's say go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Junior has this tent, and we always take it. We always, been, we always go like two hours before the sun sets, so we just and we eat. Oh, it's a vibe. <coughs> Ew. <laughs> <laughs> oh you know what else is our favorite thing to do yeah i mean at least it's my favorite thing what um painting do you like doing that ah yeah. <gasps> you don't like doing it I, mean, I do a little bit it just depends where we're at because sometimes it's like hello oh uh, or sunny we've been getting into painting like doing a little bit of painting going getting starbucks and just enjoying nature and like being off our phone. No, I was talking about Starbucks. What? We go way too much. Oh my god. I don't even talk about that. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys are keeping up with like, oh, which one do you like better? So fun. Pet peeve about each other. Hmm. You go first. My pet peeve about Junior is that when he says something, he takes way too long just to say it. What do you mean? And he says like, <clears throat> I know we all say um a lot, but he says it like way too much. Like even though he knows exactly, like if he's telling a story and he's gonna say someone's name and he knows exactly who it is, he'll be like, do you remember, um, um, oh, I forgot his Babe, name. Babe, that's stuttering. Then whatever. I do stutter a lot though. Mm -hmm. What's your pet peeve about me? So, there's a lot. No, I'm just kidding. No, um. <laughs> What are you gonna say? I hate when you, there's something happening, right? Like, for example, <clears throat> I see my dream car. <clears throat> no, no, no. Like, like my phone falls. No. And it, yes, babe. Okay, what's another example? Hold on. I don't know how to give an example. It's just when she goes <gasps> like that, but like she does it. To a point where it's like someone's dying, <laughs> but like it, like nothing like nothing serious happened. Like I would drop my phone or something. Uh huh. Or like it's just when so, it's new, so I'll just go like, <gasps> and then he's like, whoa, and then I'll, I'll like say something like. Sometimes it'll be like, babe, like let's just say for the example, Johnny Depp. Like if you guys have been following up with their cases, like I'll be like, <gasps> babe, he'd be like, whoa, whoa. And then I'll be like, oh, Johnny won. <laughs> but he gets always, he always gets somebody, he's like, why do you say, like, why do you act like someone's dying or something? But I'm just like, boy, you're just boring. <laughs> no, baby, like, you're really in something like that. And he always tells me, but I'm like, you're freaking people out. And then, like, we wait for the news, and then he's like, oh, my phone fell. <laughs> well, what if it cracked? That's in. <gasps> So two people asked the same question, they just um, phrased it differently, but it was like, how have you made your relationship work for a very long time? What would you guys say is the key to a relationship last, or to make a relationship last long? 
I would say communication. Then I know like people will be like, oh yeah, communication. But like, it really is a big thing because, for example, Junior and I would sometimes get in arguments before and it would be things that would annoy us. And we would never, especially he, he never used to tell me like, hey babe, like this bothers me or hey babe, like he would never say anything. He would always keep it to himself. And then it would get to the point where it was too much for him that like we low key needed to take a break from each other. Like let's just say we wouldn't see each other for like a few days or something. I just definitely feel like communicating is key because he used to do that a lot back then and I didn't like that so I was like look like if something's wrong like just tell me like I'll understand you know also trust trust is a big one and Junior taught me this because he said this is what Junior said well what is it that you say about trust if there's no trust and you can't love that person no you always used to be like if there's no trust there's no love oh yeah um and that's true because <clears throat> I know in the beginning you're kind of like, oh my god, is he texting other people? I feel like once you get to a point where your relationship is like good and you still don't have trust, then it's an issue. But you should definitely just trust because I over I used to overthink a lot back then. You still do, babe. No, I don't. <laughs> How? I was kidding. No, I do not. Going out, like, you know, just having your time alone as well as being with each other and always, um, like, giving a spark to your love, like, to your relationship. Because I know a lot of relationships don't do that. Like, they'll stop doing certain things, you know. But I always tell Junior, I'm like, oh, babe, let's do this. Like, we used to, you know, like, <clears throat> like little things here and there. What's your favorite thing about each other? I'll go first. Look at these shrimp heads, it's kind of like nasty. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? What's your favorite thing about each other? Um, I'm gonna say that you definitely go like above me on for like little things. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> My favorite thing about Junior is that he's very sweet. Like a little too sweet. But how can someone be too sweet? Oh wait, actually, yeah, you're good. No, you know what else? My favorite thing about him is that I can be myself. <laughs> or maybe I'm just saying it because we've been together for so long, but you make me feel so comfortable. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I'm like super weird with Junior. And he doesn't like judge me. He doesn't say nothing. Like he doesn't be like, you're weird. But Junior's not like that. Like he's the same person as me. Like if I'm weird, he'll be weird. But I think I'm more weird. <sighs> he's like, I don't know. You're just the best. Aww. He's everything for me, you guys. He's literally my best friend, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, oh. my sister, my brother, <laughs> my dad, my mom. <laughs> oh. I'm so grateful that God put you in my life sometimes. Sometimes? Well, sometimes I'm mad, but I wish I didn't deal with your annoyingness. Sometimes I wish I didn't deal with your farts. <gasps> your farts, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is age difference. <laughs> one year and a half babe <laughs> no it's literally one year and a half because it's not just it's just a year listen i'm 20 he's 21 but that's one year but in a few months he's what's gonna, 20 plus one in a few months no, he's gonna be 22 oh, yeah and then it's gonna be like a two-year difference but this is how it is that's so weird when it is his birthday just know that six months later, I'll be turning an age. When it's my birthday, just know in six months later, he'll be turning like a new age. Like it's always yeah, like- Yeah, but babe, if you just- A year and a half. Next if you question. If you dumb it down, it's just one year. Amber, respectfully, I'm not asking you that. <laughs> did you guys go to the, did you guys go to the same high school? No. I went to Tara Linda. Tara Linda High. And I went to SR, San Rafael High. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> Just kidding. Where do you guys plan on traveling next? Ooh, can't wait for that. <clears throat> so we're planning on going to Guatemala. 
Well, the only reason we're going is because one of my friends are going mm -hmm. with his girlfriend, so we just decided to go. Yeah, and because that's like where my mom, my, like my family is from, so I would love to see like where my mom and my dad grew up. And I've always wanted to go. I just, I never, I didn't want to go by myself. And obviously now we can go. But yeah, you guys are the first. I guess now you guys know because when it comes to our traveling, we never really tell anybody. Like, no parents, no friends, nothing. It's just between Junior and I because we like to keep it that way and surprise everybody like, oh, we're leaving. Who usually wins the arguments? Well, I just let you win, but I know in my head I win. Really? I wouldn't say that someone wins in the argument. It's like a, if we do argue, like we'll be mad at each other. Like we won't talk, you know, it'll be silent or whatever. And then like, Either Junior talks to me, or I talk to him. And then we're like, fine. Do you guys plan to get married? That was, a, that was a question? I swear. Why? Well, because you never, you never told me that one. Because it just got out. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what is your answer to that? Yes. Really? Yes. Really? Yes! <laughs> no, yeah, I, I always tell Junior, like, oh, I hope we get married. I definitely see myself having a future with him. I always tell this to Junior. I don't know what it is or why, but I feel like if we get married and have kids, that our first child is going to be a boy. Oh. I don't know what it is, but I think because I'm already surrounded by boys, like him and then Little Bear. He's a boy. Milo is a boy. Like, I'm the only, like, girl. Well, now you're saying it too much. Now, now it's not. No, it'll happen. And now it's on camera. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, just enjoyed us answering you guys' questions. I want to thank everyone who asked those questions. I was looking scared that I wasn't going to get any responses. But I did. So, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Deuces. I can't cover the camera. Let's do a weird face together. Yeah? Let's go like. Or like, I'll be like oh. Okay, let's do it. Ready? One. Okay. Look at me and then and then I'll be like one, two, three. We look. Oh. Okay. How is it? Hobie. Okay. One, two, three.